This is chapter 3 of Service Pack 5, Virtualization. In the last chapter, chapter 2, we dealt with VirtualBox. And in chapter 3, we'll be dealing with Parallels, the desktop 4.0 for Mac. And this is going to be a two-part video in the beginning of uh, chapter 3. And we'll be installing Windows XP and Parallels Desktop. So let's get started. We have here Parallels Desktop opened up. What we're going to need to do is we're going to click this plus symbol or you can go to File, New Virtual Machine. I already have the Windows XP Professional in uh, inside of my hard disk so we're gonna say real CD DVD ROM drive which is where the operating system will be detected from Parallels desktop now reading the disk and because this is going to be uh, because this is Windows XP Parallels desktop automatically goes ahead and sets up an easy installation for Windows, whether it's Windows XP or Windows Vista. So, we're, we have here the username, we're going to enter the username, a company name if necessary, and the product ID. Or uh, product uh, activation key, sorry. Um, after we've done that, we can go ahead and enable file sharing, which allows your Windows operating system to have access to the Macintosh hard disk. You can also enable the user profile sharing which copies or syncs your documents, music, pictures, movies folder on your Mac with the music, video, pictures folder, documents folder on your uh, Windows operating system. I'm gonna in, uh, disable that because I don't want that. Um, we can go ahead and create an icon. I'm not going to do that either because I'm going to save the hard disk for Windows XP Professional right on my desktop. And we'll call it Windows XP Professional. We'll go ahead and say create. And if you look at the boot options, you want to make sure that you have the real CD if you're going to install from the disk or the image file if you're going to install from an ISO. And as soon as you say done, it's going to start. And what we have here is parallel to desktop, reading the Microsoft Windows XP professional disk that we've inserted into our uh, Super driver here in our MacBook Pro. And so this should install the beginning of the installation for Windows XP Professional should install the core uh, components for the operating system. And this should take some time and then the second part which will go into a more graphical environment will install the actual operating system. And meanwhile while it's doing all of this stuff uh, we can talk more about Parallels Desktop since that is why uh, we're doing this video to be talking about Parallels Desktop. Now, 4.0 has a lot of nice new features, including one that I like called Madly. Um, we'll discuss this when we look at coherence as well. Also, there has been a slight change in the outline. I have since taken, taken out the video for installing Parallels and VMware Fusion tools for uh, Linux because I am waiting for Parallels and VMware to come up with a new update since I know that a lot of new Linux distributions are having trouble installing the Parallels and VMware Fusion uh, Parallels desktop and VMware Fusion tools so I'll probably be doing a video on those hopefully when we talk about Unix and Linux in the next service pack if they have a new update for that. 
If not, we'll squeeze those videos in in the miscellaneous service pack. So you can go ahead and go to the website and get the latest news on that. Back to Parallels Desktop. So we mentioned that the new Manly feature is new. Um, as well as the new interface. You, you know, 4.0 looks a lot different from the previous version of Parallels Desktop. And uh, prior to the release of 4.0, I have been using VMware Fusion. And now I use Parallels Desktop as my primary uh, virtualization software that lets you know just how good the new version is. And if you have a previous version of Parallels Desktop, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and upgrade to 4.0. And what we have here now is the partitioning for, well, formatting of the disk, not partitioning. And this is uh, formatting the disk that we created for the virtual machine in for Windows XP Professional. This icon here, this Windows XP Professional PVM file extension is the uh, icon file format for Parallels Desktop 4.0. And uh, this icon contains every bit of information for the virtual machine that we're creating. The hard disk that's being formatted inside of this file is the hard disk which is now being um, formatted. If you open, if you right click and say show package contents in Mac, you can see all the files for the uh, operating system that you're installing. As well as you have access to the actual hard disk, the Windows XP hard disk, or the operating system's hard disk. And if you open that up, which will open up Parallels Explorer, usually you will be able to explore the content in here. But we can't do that right now since it's being uh, used. So we'll leave that alone. And once you have the operating system installed, when it's shut down, you will have access to all of the uh, disk files for that operating system. And while it's running, for instance, if you're running Windows XP, a nice little hard disk icon will appear with the Parallels logo on your Mac, and it will give you instant access to your virtual machine. So let's close this. And it should take some time. And we're going to stop the video here. And in the next video, we're going to get to the point of the installation where we see the graphical environment. And then we'll install the parallel tools for Windows, which should take, which should happen automatically. And we'll discuss some more new features in Parallels Desktop. That's it for this video.